is up everybody it's nick here from the epic film guys back with another episode episode five of seven days to die and it's on day five funny enough all right and today as we mentioned at the end of the last video we're going to get our full complement of tools here so iron tools galore pickaxe fire axe a nice shovel and a claw hammer so i actually i need to make the trip back to the town but i need to have way less stuff on me here's the thing. I don't believe I actually need... Yeah, get rid of the stones. Actually, we're going to drop the wood. These feather... I don't think I need any more arrows. I've <laughs> already got 247. I need to have as empty an inventory as I can possibly get. So that way I can actually do some good looting. So we've got some health. We've got some water. We've got some empty glass jars. We'll fill those up on the way back here. And I think we're ready to go. Uh, do I have to eat anything? See, I just made I made literally a ton of steak. Took a whole 50 stack and threw it right in there. And yeah, you know, I think we're ready to go. I don't think I need uh, anything else here. So we'll head out of the house. There we go. Um, I, I, I really don't understand why I did it the way I did it. I put the hatch over on the other side of the house here, but such is life. Alright, so it is day five. It is almost midday on day five. So, given that, what I really need to focus on now is getting ready for Horde Night. Whether that's going to take place in the town or what, I'm not sure, but well, it looks like we're going to have some company here. <laughs> Man, get some, I'm getting some stuttering here. What the hell is going on? Come on, game. You've been running fine for a couple days here now. So I apologize, everybody, for the... No, oh, god damn it. What in the hell? up there. Hmm. big friends here. We're just going to get up to the road and restart this commentary here. I do not understand why the hell this is freaking stuttering and skipping like this. It's not even... I can't even play it.
Damn it. Alright, what is up guys? It's Nick here from the Epic Film Guys. And ooh, what do we got here? Oh, is it a utility worker? Oh, it is. Oh, come on. Of course he has nothing on him. None of these zombies are ever carrying anything good. Alright, welcome. This is episode 5 of 7 Days to Die. As you can see, it is noon of the 5th day. And the game's actually having a few stuttering issues, so hopefully I don't have to restart again. I did restart at the house, and then I came outside, and it was just the, the video was clipping and stuttering so bad it was just almost unplayable. Hopefully, like I said, we do not continue to have that issue. Oh, come on. Cheerleader? Looks like a cheerleader. Alright, so let's get over here and kill her. There we go. Uh, ooh. Yeah, we'll wear those. I'm still wearing some junk here. In terms of plant fiber stuff. I need to craft some better armor. That's add that to the list of things that I need to do before the horde. And that's basically what I'm playing for now is horde night preparation. This is going to be my last trip to the town unless I decide to fight the Horde here. I'm not entirely certain what I'm going to do about Horde Knight just yet. As you can see, we do have our full complement of iron tools. I've already been wearing the hell out of that axe because I've been chopping the shit out of all the little, you know, dried out trees, the little tiny baby things all the way here. So, uh, all right. So what we're going to do, we're just going to hoof it. I'm not going to stop for anything else here. Uh, we're just going to book it as fast as we can over to the city and I will see you guys there. Is that like the third crawler that I've seen since I freaking got on this road here? Alright, we're coming into town now. I believe we'll just head back over in the direction where I have been looting. And there's that tower. I really, that tower just really looks nice. I really think I want to do a horde night there. Maybe. You know what a good question is? I wonder what that tower is made out of. With the paint tool in this game, it's kind of tough to tell what something's made of anymore. Because you can't just look at it and be like, oh yeah, it's this. 
could be concrete, but it could also be wood that they just painted up to look like concrete. So, who knows? And I really wish my sprained leg would heal. Not broken. Not broken. But I did sprain it. Jumping, I forget what I was doing, but... I also wonder if this corn has grown in here. I need to actually snag a bunch of this corn and take it back. Ooh, I never even noticed there was another garden across the street, too. What do we got here? Ooh, potatoes. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Just beautiful. As long as, as, long as I don't see a zombie bear this time, I think. I'm all right. What the hell? Yeah, these are all grown in now, which is nice. And then, oh, looks like we got another thing of corn down there. I love these massive, massive crop areas. This is something that I saw in the videos that they did. In the videos that Mad Mole put out, I saw these, and I thought it was really cool, but I didn't expect to really be able to reap any benefits from it. Ooh, what do we got here? Is this more potatoes? <sighs> Oh, no, these are blueberries. Okay. I'm guessing this is just like a little farming community or something of that nature. There's another one of those lazy barns. There's another one literally right there next to it. Making sure those POIs get spread out, I see. Come on, get out of here. Man, I was, this game is still stuttering a bit, and I do not like that at all. I believe I want to head for the bank here. I've got a full level 200 iron pickaxe. And I just need to dig through some recipes. See, this is a, this is actually a pretty small town, I think. Although it could stretch on in the distance for that way for quite a bit. I'm not sure. Yeah, even more corn. This must just be like a little, little farming town that was... Lost as part of the uh, the zombie scourge, as it swept over the land here. And actually, I need to check this passing gas because I need to see if it has a workbench in it. Problem is, I don't have anything to collect it with, aka a wrench. So it's a matter of scrap and sort some of that stuff a little bit later. I'm just kind of grabbing everything as I can for now. Oh, there's another pass. There's two gas stations in this town. Look at that. I mean, I like the new POIs. I like that there are tons of new POIs, but come on. They really don't need to be stacked on top of each other this closely, do they? <laughs> Uh, and the, this is actually the planes here. As far as I haven't seen a freaking vulture. We've got a power station there. Oh, actually, look at this. Uh, it actually does continue down in that direction for a little ways yet. So, hmm. I think we need to head into this gas station. We need to check out if there are... Yeah, give me that gas. Give me that gas, baby. Yes. here. Is that like a fridge running? Or maybe the beverage cooler in there? Oh, look at this door. And look at this window. All jacked up. I am guessing we're going to find a nice sleeper in here somewhere. Actually, how much wood do I have? Oh, yep. See that? That looks like a looks like a sleeper right there, but I'm not gonna go that way. I'm gonna go actually around this way, and I'll get him on the way back. Oh, look! Look! Like <laughs> She's sleeping up in the rafters. Okay, she's dead now. 
<laughs> He's just sleep sleeping up in the rafters. I love the sleeper system. I really do. Also love the new PO. What the? How's she still alive? And now she's not. Blah, blah, blah. Corn seeds. I kind of need to go through stuff here so I can actually collect more things in my inventory. There's nothing in this, so we're going to get rid of it. Goodbye. What you got? Nothing. And nothing in the duffel, but man! It is just... Shopping basket. Ugh. A lot of this stuff we just... Like that corn seed, no, I mean, there's so much corn leading into town, I can just grab a ton of that when I get out of here. Oh, looks like the weather's turning. That's nice. Ooh, calipers. Nice. Although, I really... What do you need calipers for anymore if you don't need them to make ammo? That's an interesting question. I like that they added this little thingy up here. And, oh, a battery and a padlock, okay. The shopping basket, I'm actually not going to scrap. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, because if I can find a wrench, I can actually pick that up. Once I get the wrench. Any sleepers in here? Oh, a sink. Wrench. Come on. was a sleeper. Anybody hanging out in the bathroom? Nope. There's my ladder to the roof. Some things have not changed. Yeah, yeah we'll take advantage. Come on. They gotta freaking give me something eventually, right? Keep the faucets, actually, for now. Scrap that. Scrap the cooking pot. Get rid of the shams. Get rid of the stupid plant fibers. The glass panes, I actually found out I can sell those at the trader, so I will keep those for now. Broken glass is stupid. Scrap the bullet casings, please. And I think that's it. I don't think we can actually get rid of anything else. Oh, fine. Give me the poop. Jesus. Looks like we got a sleeper. Oop. Looks like we got a sleeper hanging out up here. Oh, yeah. Delicious. And some of this stuff, like these air conditioners, you gotta you gotta wait until you get something else. You gotta wait until you have a wrench to tear these apart, because otherwise you're just wasting them. So many electronic components. And, different, and nothing in any of these piles of garbage. Come on. Hmm. 
right, I'm going to buzz through these vents on the roof here. I'll be back. All right, and there's my guy. Nice workbench back here, but again, I can't, I can't actually get this stupid thing because I don't have a friggin' wrench. I picked up some forged iron somewhere along the way, though, which I guess win, but oh, fine. Active. Goodbye. Unfortunately, the plan to clear the stuff off the top of the gas station became far more complicated very quickly. But I'm just going to finish kind of cleaning everything up here. This is basically how I'm going to do all these POIs, is they're just going to get stripped completely clean. And... Oh, destroyed workbench. How about that? That's kind of cool. I don't know if I can take that or not, though. I mean, I might be able to take that and, like, use it as a real work, but I don't know. Something. Who knows? No, we do not want that. Goodbye. See, now I wonder... No, that's not... I'm not going to do that. I need... I need mechanical parts. I could build a wrench if I get enough mechanical parts because I'm almost... I think I actually can get steelsmithing now. I can get it, I just don't have enough points to get it. Yeah, one more level I'll be able to get this. So, I mean, it, it's like... Do I get it? Do I not get it? God. Junk. I don't even really need these stupid stones, but... Well, let's just see what happens. Nah, I didn't think so. Just gonna give me iron. You gotta strip those things apart with a wrench so you get more... of the, uh... Whatchacallit. More of the whatchacallit. Haha. <laughs> Beverage cooler will actually leave here. We'll strip this with a wrench later. That sleeper, I think that was that guy that I saw sleeping down here, the one that uh, actually climbed up on the roof, if you saw that. Oh. Yeah, same thing with that. We'll save all this. 
Well, I mean, not the counters and stuff, but... Ooh, shotgun schematic. I believe that's my first actual gun schematic. And leather armor as well, so now we can do... And yeah, that's right, they made the shotgun schematics are both on one, so now when you read the shotgun schematic, you can automatically make both shotgun types. Both sawed off and otherwise, so that's pretty nice. I've still got some vents to finish up over on the ceiling. And yeah, this might seem like a colossal waste of time to some people, but... If I ever come back to this POI later, and I'm going to need to because once I get a wrench, I'm going to strip all these lights as well. There's tons of electrical components and stuff you get from lights. And we'll save that. Again, that's mechanical parts, stripping that apart. Same thing with this, electronic components, especially for cash registers. Always, always, always try to think ahead. And don't just go willy-nilly, just crazy, grabbing a hold of everything that you possibly can. Don't need to strip and destroy everything right away. Like I said, same thing with the beverage cooler. Electric components, electric parts, all that kind of stuff that I'll wait until I get a wrench and utilize. And we are going to go ahead and finish this up now. I will speed up, and hopefully we will not be interrupted again by pesky zombies. So hang on. vents are clean now and if you ever wonder how I built all those spikes in the moat for the castle in alpha 15 this is how by stripping POIs like this completely of all of their iron content especially the shelving and the vents on the roof because both of them are worth a lot of raw iron I actually would take this wall out and I would take this thing out but that's a lot of health and I don't want to sit here and try to whack all the way through that Maybe yeah, I'm getting well, a decent amount of iron for him. And we're actually going to repair this here real quick. There we go. And why don't I do this? Molotov cocktail ammo. How about that? Cloth fragment, gas can, oil, glass jar. Oh! Look at how easy these are to make, actually. I think I just found myself something nice to make for Horde Night. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. That's very, very cool, because I know I have some more oil back at the main base. Ooh, yeah, I like that. We're not going to do that right now, though. We're also going to do some duct tape. Get rid of those uh, bottles of glue that I have. Hmm... Yeah. All right, I'm pretty sure this thing is about stripped clean here. Got that amazing set of mini bike tires. These things make me mad. So much to the point, I am shocked. How about oh, what? That's a thing? <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. You actually get electrocuted if you try to chop something out that's electrified. Man. Alright. I see the game you want to play here. That's alright. That's alright. I kind of want to keep chopping at it, but I, I don't want to get electrocuted. I lost a bit of health doing that. Wow. Hmm. 
things I did not know. I need to set up an outpost somewhere in the city, so I need to figure out where I want to do that as well. Hmm. Too bright. It's about 6.30 at night now. Uh, well, I mean, with a ton of stopping, I got back to my old base right around nightfall at this point. I think I'm staying in the city at this point tonight. The only question is where. If I head over to the bank now and I start cleaning it out, I should be able to have it pretty well done by the time actual nightfall gets here, and I can block off the uh, block off the entrances and hopefully keep it protected. Let's just finish cracking this open here. I want to just completely open up a lot of these POIs, get everything nice and freshly opened up here. There's so little wood value there, I really don't care about it. Drop into the ground. And this way, I mean, when I see POIs like this, I'll know. Yeah, the, the massive garage door is gone. Things of that nature. I've definitely been there. I've definitely done my work there. So that way I can kind of keep going. Especially without loot respawns, it just... You know, it makes sense to me to do a very thorough, and I, I was always pretty thorough anyway. Especially, like I said, if you watch any of my Alpha 15 videos, watching me do work in Alpha 15, I did the same thing. Where I would just rip a building apart. Completely. But like I said, if you want to know how I made that moat, that's how. Because I needed so much scrap iron. Yeah, there we go. I needed so much scrap iron to make that bad boy. And that's exactly how I got it. Didn't get it by scrapping different stuff made of iron, I can tell you that. It was by literally ripping apart entire buildings, especially like the big box stores that are in this game. Ooh, these are floating in the air. Yeah, like the big box stores and stuff that are in the game, like your working stiff tools, your shamway foods, all that. There's so much of that crap. Ooh, a purse. Ah, waste. All right, and we need to get inside of the bank here, and we need to shore it up. But we're actually going to... Where's my vault? If I'm looking at the bank... Uh-oh. I love how these sleepers, like, pop right up. Right when I get even anywhere near the building. Hmm... And this is bulletproof glass now, which I don't know how hard that is to get through, but I don't want to get rid of it. Okay, so our vault is through this wall here. Now, this is going to take a hot minute, but... Ooh, hello. There we go. There's enough skill points to get steelsmithing now. Oh, wow, look at all the sleepers just on top of the roof of the bank, man. Three of them up here. Four of them. Wow. Actually, that one might not be a sleeper because he didn't move. Oh, no, that's, that is so four. Never mind. And, yeah, we got, we got zombies down below. This is why I wanted to head over here now because this might be a kind of tough POI to clear out. It's kind of... The sleep response system, it, if you ask me, I think it's a little ridiculous. If I had to say that there's one thing about Alpha 16 that I'm not 100% happy with, it's the fact that you have sleepers that respawn in POIs that you've already cleared. Like, you've already been through an area. Oh, this guy just didn't get up when I ran by him earlier. There we go. All right. So all of our zombie friends are dead now. So yeah, like right here-ish, somewhere right over in this area is where... The actual vault is. And I kind of just want to rip through the ceiling right into the vault itself. Another backpack here. And pistol grip. No room in queue. What the hell am I scrapping? Oh, I'm still, 
<laughs> I'm still making this stupid gas barrel. Uh, uh, all right, let's rip apart some squish here. Too much of this nonsense. Too much of zombies and containers in this game having nothing. Just absolutely nothing of value. Oh, nope, I'm already wearing that. Yep. This gas barrel really needs to hurry the hell up. Leave that there for now. Oh, that's right, this. These vents up here we're going to leave in place for now. If only because, I mean, you just need to. I need to save up uh, the iron value of the... of this thing here. So yeah, so our vault's right around here somewhere, but I... Uh, well, I don't want to, you know, chip a, a hole down in the wrong place either. So, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to head down. Eventually, I will fortify this entire bank. But we're talking a little ways away from now, once that happens. I love taking these with me. Alright, so we need to get inside. Ooh, there's already a door open to get in here. Look at that. So now we begin the great sleeper hunt here. And apparently the great chicken hunt. You better run. Got him. <laughs> His ragdoll's a little messed up. <laughs> too good to pass up. Yeah, I know there's some sleepers in here, but... What the... Okay, so the great sleeper hunt here. We'll worry about scrapping our way into a lot of this stuff later. I love the look of this bulletproof glass, though. That's awesome. That just looks amazing. And nope, he ain't got another. So much stuff that's got to be scrapped, taken, just utilized for my own benefit. I'm really glad I got up on the roof first. Because... Hmm. You never know where they're going to be. <laughs> Friggin' sleepers in here. If there's one in the vault, I'm gonna shit. <laughs> I don't think the sleeper system is probably intuitive enough to be like... It has to keep zombies out of certain areas and from doing certain things. I think am I... Oh, finally that thing is done. Sink. Still no wrench. Thank you. This is so awesome. This is one of those things this game does. Alright, so let's 
take this door out of here. Let's take this door out of here. Running around with a full inventory crap sucks. That is a couple of zombies. We need to find them, root them out, and get rid of them now. Before he bashes his way into the building and ruins it. Whew, goodbye. Goodbye. I think that might have been it. Okay. Alright, so now I need to do some wood frames here. Barricade this right up here. And too bright. Banks are like a treasure trove of stuff here. I love that sleeper system. I love sleepers. I do think that they're one of the best implementations in this game. But, man, the sleeper system does need some work. <laughs> like, he's a crawler zombie, and then he just... He, he gets up and then flops over to start crawling. It's just so stupid. The way it the way it's, like, in reality. The way it's, it's realized. I think we'll be okay in this building for the night. I'm gonna... I want to get the vault open. That's actually going to be the most important thing here, is getting the vault open. Get the hell out of here. More duct tape, yes please. We'll get my crap I left in the medicine cabinet here. This is going to be the other problem. I find any gun parts or anything, I just need to go through and give my inventory a more thorough just shredding, I guess. Get rid of more stuff. Look at all these. All these need to go with wrenches that I don't have. So I, need, I just there's a lot of stuff to be done yet. All right, so I'm gonna speed through me cutting my way into the vault, and we will see you on the other side.
But yeah, it is nightfall here at the bank, so we are going to call it a video for here. And I'll probably keep working on these vaults as the night progresses, but I did hear a zombie outside, so I want to try to be as quiet as I possibly can. So thank you very, very much, everybody, for watching. Please like, please share, please subscribe. And as always, until next time, peace.